We are now sponsored by NBA2KLabs.com. Check out their site for loads of free 2K content. Also, check out their premium side for the best tested jump shots. Use code JR at checkout for 20% off. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all boys this insane VC glitch that you can use for Season 7 to get your VC up extremely fast. Drop a like, man. Drop a sub. Turn on post notifications. With all that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video in this video i'm gonna show you boys this vc glitch that you can use to get your vc up pretty fast so let's get right into it what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go over to my nba eras and then you want to go ahead and start a new my nba file up once you guys do that you can choose any era that you would like i usually go with the modern era once that happens you can go ahead and pick any nba team that you would like just make sure you guys do remember which team that you pick because that is important for this VC glitch. So you can go ahead and hit advanced through here and then you can choose any team for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the Milwaukee Bucks and then you can go ahead and press start. Once that happens, it's gonna ask you to auto generate rookies. You can press A through this, auto generate rookies. And there's a few different settings that you wanna change to ensure you do get the most VC possible. So here's what you wanna do. The very first thing that you wanna do is go into your front office and then hit roster. Press start for the quick edit mode and then hit okay. You then wanna go ahead and throw over to all players. And then you just wanna highlight the whole entire row under height by pressing A or X. And then you want to make every single player in the NBA as short as possible. You can also take away their weight. And then I also do this for all of the most important attributes. You can do this for all the attributes if you would like, but it's really not that necessary. As long as you take away your layup, dunk, close, mid, and three, you should be good. Like I said, this is just going to allow you to make the most VC possible. So go ahead and scroll over layup and then take away your layup, dunk, mid, and three and you should be all good and like I said if you wanted to you could also take away every single player's badges hotspots and tendos by pressing Y or X but I generally just do these most important attributes and that allows me to win every single game to get the most DC possible so once you guys have done that for these key attributes you then want to go ahead and scroll over to your team that you pick so that's why I said it's important you guys remember which team that you pick for me I went to the Milwaukee Bucks right so I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Milwaukee Bucks and I'm going to do the same exact thing except now I want to make every single player on my team 7'7 seven seven Demi Gods. You can also up the weight as well and then you want to go ahead and make every single player on your team have max 99 overall attributes for all those important categories and like I said if you really wanted to you could give every single player on your team max 99 overall stats as well but it's really not that necessary. And if you pr press Y or triangle, you can also give every single player on your team max badges, max hotspots, and max tendos as well. But generally, just to save time, I just do these key attributes. And then after you guys have gave every single player on your team 99 layup, dunk, mid, and three, there is a couple other things that you do want to change just to make your life easier while you're farming your DC. So I'm going to go ahead and up this last key important attribute, which is the three point rating to a 99 overall. And then you want to go ahead and press start to save these changes. After you guys have done that, I would recommend you guys go into coaching, go down to coach settings and make sure you turn, uh, turn timeouts on manual. And then after that, you can go down to your options once again, go to settings, and then you can go ahead and go to gameplay. And what I do here is I put the game difficulty on Hall of Fame just to get the most VC possible. And then I put the game speed all the way up on 100 just to make the games go by faster as well. Now listen, bro, the last thing that you want to do is go into your options, go to your settings, and then go to general. You want to go ahead and put the quarter length on 12 minutes. And then after each game, you do have to go down one minute or you'll stop getting VC. And there's like a 30 minute timer or so. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna start off with 12 minutes because that's gonna give us the most VC possible. And then after every game, you have to go down one minute or you won't get any VC, if that makes sense. But after you guys have done that, you wanna go ahead and go over to your next game. And then you wanna hit simulate with Simcast. You then wanna put, put the simulation speed all the way up to the fastest and hit simulate game. You wanna make sure that you get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left. So you do wanna make sure you are paying attention because this does go by extremely fast. So once I get to the fourth quarter with under like three minutes left or so, I want to put it down 
the slow and then i'm gonna hit continue simulation because like i said you do want to make sure you are paying attention because you do have to get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left because that's going to allow you to save and quit and get through these games way faster and it's easy to mess up you don't want the game to run out or like i said you'll be wasting your time you won't get any vc so you guys can see we're in the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left you want to go ahead and hit play game jump in and then once this happens you want to go ahead and save and quit so you'll be loaded into the game right here and then you can go ahead and save and quit if the save and quit option isn't there just go ahead and back out and if you like shooting free throws or it's a timeout or whatever just shoot the free throws and you should be able to press start and it should pop up so you guys can see i can now save and quit so you want to go ahead save and quit out of this and then you want to go ahead and reload the same my nba file back up once you guys do that you want to go ahead and let the game run completely out Once the game runs out, you're going to go ahead and hit quit, and you will get VC for doing absolutely nothing. Now listen bro, you can continue to do this, but make sure you guys are paying attention. You do want to go over to your options, go over to your settings, go over to general, and then this time you're going to put the quarter length and the simulation quarter length down to 11 minutes, because if you don't, then you won't get any VC. After each game, you got to go down one minute, and then you can repeat, if that makes sense. So now, after you guys have done that, go ahead and load up your next game. You want to hit simulate with simcast and then put the speed all the way up and hit simulate game you want to get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left because that's going to allow you to save and quit so make sure you guys are paying attention right here because it is easy to mess up once i get under a minute left or so i'm going to go ahead and hit continue simulation once again and then once you guys get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left you want to go ahead and repeat the same exact steps to ensure you do get your vc you guys can see i'm at the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds up i'm gonna go ahead and hit play game jump in save and quit reload the game back up let the game run completely out hit quit and you will get your vc once again But yeah man once the game is over with as long as you've done all the steps you're gonna hit quit and you will get your vc and then if you want to continue to do this just go over to your options go to your settings go over to general you can put the quarter length down to 10 minutes and repeat and make sure you guys do change your quarter length after each game or you won't get any vc if that makes sense so yeah man let me know if you guys have any questions drop a like man drop a sub turn on notifications we out peace